Welcome to Windows 8 tutorial lesson number 8. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to enable and disable applications from starting up when you boot your computer. And the reason that I'm showing you this tutorial is because if you have too many applications starting up, it can slow your computer down. It doesn't mean that it will, but depending on what kind of hardware you have in your computer, it could slow it down. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to your charm bar and select the search option. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And then let's go ahead and click on settings and then click in the search bar. And we're going to type task and then space manager. And then to our far left, we'll see that task manager is available. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And that will bring up the task manager menu. And within this menu, you're going to look for the option that says startup. And when you find the startup tab, go ahead and left click on that. And you'll see that there's a total of four categories. The first one being the name, which is the name of the application. The second saying publisher, who created the application. And then the third is status. That means is the application enabled for startup or disabled for startup. And then you have startup impact as the fourth category. And that tells you how much impact the application has on your resources if it's started up when you first boot your computer up. So you want to take that into account too when you disable and enable a application. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on this first application and I'm going to disable it. And if you right click on it and you select disable, the status will go to disable. And if you right click and select enable, it'll re-enable the application to start up. And also you could go to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and there's an option or a button there that allows you to enable and in disable applications by left clicking on the button. And if I left click on it, it will disable it. If I click it again, it will re-enable it. So you can toggle it on and off by, by clicking the button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Also, if you wanted to, you know, enable or disable another application, you could just left click into that area and you hit that button rather than right clicking. But I think it's more efficient to just right click, enable, or right click and disable. It's much more efficient in my opinion. But I think you get the point of how to enable and disable applications. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Don't forget to embed, subscribe, comment. And I also hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. And if you have any suggestions for Windows 8 tutorials, please leave a comment and I will take your suggestions very seriously. And if you have a suggestion that I think will benefit all of my viewers, I will make a tutorial for you. And also if it's not too difficult for me. So as long as it's not too difficult, I'll do my best to make a tutorial for you. It shouldn't be too difficult. I don't think there's too many tutorials that I can't fulfill, but if it is a tutorial that I can't, I will let you know. So have a great day.